I think you oh, made it. No. killed it, I think. What did I do? Hot fun in the summertime. Or hot fun in the summertime. <laughs> By Sly and the family Stallone. Adrian! Hot fun in the summertime. <laughs> Adrian! Hey, hey, I am Tom Fawn. And I'm Jonathan Fawn. This is Magic, Magic Moments, Moments with, with the, the Fawn Brothers. Brothers. This is the summer show. Summertime, Some summertime, show. Some, summertime, some, summertime, 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 summertime. Anyway, uh, it's August. It's a hot August night. Hot August <laughs> night! How do we get to Neil Diamond right away? Today! <laughs> uh, we hope you're having a fantastic it's summer. around the world! All right, go ahead. We come <laughs> to America! Today! All right. Uh, actually, on a side note, Neil Diamond was famous for... Side note. Okay, you don't have to... <laughs> when I say side <laughs> note, you don't then have to say right, another right. side Go note. Ahead. So, on a side note for Neil Diamond... Allison! <laughs> Go ahead. He performed at the Greek during August. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we realize we haven't done a show, and it's summer, and the dog just came in the room. <laughs> Jonathan's little dog, is, is she out? She's okay, gone. Okay, all right. Anyway. She's and it, gone! Okay, Sorry. say on now one I'm pop. I'm singing. It's, it's summertime, and we just wanted to do a summer show. When's the last time we did a show? We have not done a show since December 31st, 2017. That was New Year's Eve, ladies and gentlemen. Who was our guest on the New Year's <laughs> Eve show? Who was our guest? I think it was William McNeil. William McNeil, shout out. First shout out of the show. With applause. Beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, the theme is summer, and we're going to start since we grew up in New York. What do you remember about growing up in Huntington, Long Island during the summer? What Are do you, you remember? asking me that? Yeah, I'm asking you that. Oh, okay. Well, um, we didn't go to camp like a lot of other kids did in the what, summertime. What is the deal with camp? Look, I ain't sending my kids to no camp. Tommy, you're going to have fun right here. Take the garbage out. <laughs> Anyway, at Camp Fawn, we would um, yeah, well, that, that get was, on our bikes, yeah. like, in the morning, after uh, Lucky Charms or whatever we had. Uh, sugar Smacks. And we'd go down to, like, the Bay Deli and get some, uh, yeah, you right. get your beef jerky there, right. you get some little you delicious gotta, chewing get gum. Right. And we'd bring all our baseball equipment and right. meet up with other friends right. at the park. Right. And we would play baseball, like, all day long, go right. have lunch somewhere. Yeah. And then we wouldn't come home until, like, it was dark and the fireflies were Oh, out. the fireflies. You guys back east, go outside and... Catch the fireflies in the jar. Oh, and the fireflies in the jar. I showed Veronica. A little shout out to my daughter, Veronica. Shout out to Veronica. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, we were in New York a couple of summers ago in New Jersey visiting our beautiful cousin, Patty. Shout out to Patty. Hello, Patty. And we, uh, oh my God. And we went outside and saw the fireflies. I hadn't seen them <laughs> since I was a kid. And they remembered me. Well, anyway. It, it does feel like your kids again when you see those things yeah, darting magical. around. It's magical. You guys get amazing. that back east. We but don't yeah, get so that. So the east coast was a lot of that. And it was yeah. just oh, very hot. Well, it was so hot you had to have ice it, cream. It, it was so hot. Yes. How? Hot was it? Let's <laughs> not get lost. Um, How hot was it? It was hot. Well, you can't have two Ed McMahons. <laughs> well, I don't know. More Ed McMahons, the better. It was so hot. <laughs> I don't have a punchline. Anyway, it was so hot we would have to get the ice cream, and we oh, wouldn't just get it from the ice, the ice cream. cream man. We got it from the Good Humor right, Man. Well, the ice cream man in New York was the the Good Humor well, Man. Well, the brand was Good Humor the, what, Ice Cream. You know? Was that only in the summer? Did he come all year round? No, he came around all year long. He had that little change, and it was a big thing if you could get the chocolate eclair, or the strawberry shortcake, oh, or the, the toasted almond. What's the one that had oh. the, the chocolate? Yeah, chocolate eclair. Chocolate inside. Yeah. I want the chocolate one. <laughs> anyway. Hey, would you like to come into my Good Humor van and pick out some candy? <laughs> Is that... Is that the voice of the I ice? guess that's oh the, my uh, God. the I don't, kind of scary I don't know, but I don't remember that guy. Also, <laughs> I remember the summertime, too. Okay, go ahead. Also, we also <laughs> swam in the pool. A big swimmer. Oh, we'd go to that public pool. The in Dix, Dix Hills, Hills pool. Shout out to the people along Island. Remember they had a big diving board yeah. and you would go up to the top of that thing and, and we did all the so things scary. that everyone does in the summer yeah. we yeah. weren't really beach people but then then we would move from Huntington Long Island to Huntington Beach that's true we and then hit we, both Huntington's yeah, yeah, did no, we no. go through Huntington West Virginia uh, on the way out here because that would have been that's no true. shout out well to wait the good people. Huntington Beach uh is a total beach culture, but it's like all year round in California. So I remember the first day of school. Let's hear it. First day of school, much to my shock. Hey, what are you doing in California? No, I'm just good, kidding. Good human guy was there? I needed a new change, so I came out here. Okay, all right, so. He's getting <laughs> no. his own podcast. <laughs> what is a podcast? Tommy the garbage. 
Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> what is Wi-Fi, Thomas? Yeah, yeah, that's my dad asking about. I keep hearing about Wi-Fi, and I have a question for you. <laughs> Wi-Fi? No, Dad, that's not a question. Wi-Fi is how you get the internet and how you do things. Well, what is Wi-Fi? Well, Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, but my first day of school in Huntington Beach. Stay on target. Summer we went is through Palos Verdes. Got to Huntington Beach. Right. It was January, and I remember that first day. Right. They all asked me questions like, "Were you ever mugged? Have you ever seen the Empire State Building? <laughs> right. That kind of stuff." Right. And then they were like, "Hey, we're going to the. Be- oh, excuse me. Hey, we're going to the beach today. You want to come with us?" Dude, the beach, bro. Bra! So I said, yes, of course. Uh, that The beach? and uh, It's January. And they're like, yeah. Why, I, Michael J. Fox? Doc, the beach? Why? Michael J. Fox was one of your fellows. Hey, Michael, you want to get in my truck? <laughs> no. So the good humor we man went, and Michael Let J. me finish Fox. the story, okay? Uh, so go ahead, we try go to the beach. I'm, I'm interrupting myself. Try it. Going to the beach on my Schwinn Stingray that first day uh, in, Cal- uh, in, in a California school in Huntington Beach. And uh, it was kind of amazing to see the ocean that time of year dude weren't you stoked well <laughs> well what do you remember so now we had a pool in huntington beach and yeah, you used to swim a lot well i don't know if you remember this and again we're mentioning the old man but uh uh when we bought when the family got the house in huntington beach and they had that swimming pool that's the first time we ever had a pool you know and uh, that was a big moment for us and every moment we were in that pool do you remember that you, you think a lot that of was people like a depression a lot, a lot of, era thing with like the old man yeah, maybe. I mean, it was a big victory for him. If you remember the night we moved in there, he came home from work and he dove in the pool in his suit. <laughs> that was pretty ama- pretty momentous because back in Brooklyn, in the old in the old days, well, his they uh, they kind of had a lot of fun in the summer, even though they didn't have anything. Well, the old man grew up in Coney Island. Shout out to Coney Island in Brooklyn. He was on the uh, shout park. out to the shout outs. Go ahead. He was on the boardwalk and he was in Surf Avenue and Nathan's. <laughs> Boardwalk hey. down by the sea. Would you like to come under the boardwalk? No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn, that good humor guy is everywhere. Uh, the entire building would go to the beach together, and yeah. you know, th- there was a beach culture well, different you, than the West Coast. If we're thing. talking Dad's summer in Brooklyn, do you remember uh, the candy bars that were always in the freezer? Oh yes. Do you know why? Oh, what is the story with that? Yeah. So I found out that. Uh, they had these candy stores in Brooklyn, and the one in, in Dad's neighborhood, Sterling Place, Rochester Avenue, that one, maybe all of them, but that one did not have air conditioning. Probably nobody had air conditioning mm-hmm. back then. And so to keep the candy bars so they wouldn't melt, they put them in the freezer. And that's why the old man always put everything. Yeah. Do you remember what he put and, in the and freezer? Too, we had chocolate. I remember chocolate graham crackers, and he'd buy that Pedbridge Farm chocolate cake. Pedbridge Farm remembers? Oh, <laughs> Always in the freezer. We remember? And then, like, I'd bring, hey, Dad, I got some devil dogs. Put them in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> they taste better in the freezer. That's right. Pass me the Viceroy. Yeah. yeah so, yes. Don't put that in the freezer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so well, barbecue. Yeah. Wait, no, that's my list. Don't do that to the list. What's next? Well, we didn't talk about barbecues in the <sighs> summer. Barbecues in, on Long Island. We would have. Barbecues <laughs> in Long Island. <laughs> we would have big parties, and the old man would invite. All these uh, friends and relatives, and they'd all come out on the. And I remember going shopping with them, and he would buy steaks yeah. and ribs yeah. and all this stuff. And then he'd set up like four of these hibachis. Hibachis, right? Yeah, Ooh, hibachi. He'd right. set up these four. Well, hi- later on, he had the big barbecue. Right, right? but yeah. before that, he would go these four different hibachis. He'd light with them. Charcoal. <laughs> then he put like you know, uh, uh, and then all of a sudden he would put a spread of about thirty hot dogs <laughs> on the four hibachis. I mean, what about the steaks? What about the chops? He'd say, "You got to get the edge off." Yeah, the hot dog was like an appetizer. That's right. an appetif. It was like and, Joey, uh, uh, Joey on Friends warming up his stomach. That's right. That's what you had <laughs> to right. do with the hot dogs. So yeah, he had. To, we want to get the edge off. That's for Jeff Nimoy. That story. The right first there. shout out. out. The Jeff Nimoy Jeff has made, an, uh, made an appearance on the show. Yeah. And you, weren't you going to say Just, something about the old man? Maybe you were going to say a little something about wait, the old what man. What are you leading me? You were going to say something me? about the old man? Yeah, he smoked. Now, what else you got? <laughs> All right. Well, the barbecue and uh, also the candy store. We did. Oh, well, you know, what's our time? What's we're, our time? What's we're, our, uh, we got plenty of time. We got like six minutes. Left. I think what you were probably alluding to is yeah, the no. fact that we have not done a show. Uh, well, we did a show in, uh, on on New Year's Eve, but um, a New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year's Eve. No, we um, 
<laughs> haven't mentioned on the air that our father passed away on December 8th. Right. And, you know, it's funny. We're talking about the summer. Right. And whether it's New York or California, it seems to all come back to our parents and to our dad and how right. they, what they did to make our summers um, fun. You know, they well, the old man that. had a lot of fun in life in every way. And that's what we're still trying to do right now. So you got to have a good time while you're here. Right, everybody? Right. That's right. a very important point. As a fact, so it's like we want to make the summer special for our kids. We want them to experience things. And I think that comes from, I mean, if your parents were like that, it comes from your parents. And certainly with us, it does. Absolutely. And, you know, there's another element of, uh, first of all, can we talk about the school year? Hey, what, talk what, about whatever you want, bro. What, what, yeah, what is the deal? Like, it's, When you and I went to school, we, yeah. we got out the end of June. Yeah. And we had a little bit of June, all of mm. July, all of August. And then went back after Labor Day. But our kids here in Southern California, maybe some of you, wherever yeah. you're listening. They go back like August 1st. Our daughter, My daughter's going back next week. It's ridiculous. Us. So it's like, what about, are there still camps on the East Coast? Like camps that have been going on for 100 years that go through Labor Day weekend? Is the Labor whole Day na- weekend. Is the whole Wait nation a minute. Too- oh, the telephone. Stay up and watch the stars come out. <laughs> We would watch the Jerry Lewis telethon. With That's Austin what, Bean. <laughs> with Austin <laughs> Wells. And Sly and the family Stallones. Thanks a lot, Jerry. And your favorite ice cream man. Go, Jerry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I got him on that phone. Anyway, so uh, we would watch. I'm sorry, folks. I don't know if you remember the Jerry Lewis telethon was yeah. Labor Day weekend. The muscular dystrophy telethon. It oh, would- Melissa. Mo- the Melissa Dystrophy Telethon. No, Melissa. No. Oh, Melissa, sister. our sis- Melissa, the sister. That's right. In 1986. Hold time. on. Shout out to Melissa Fawn, the most beautiful and the and the funniest of all the Fawns. I think if you're talking off stage, Melissa was probably the funniest of the she Fawns. She was the funniest of all the Fawns. <laughs> whenever she could get a word in. 1986. Right. Uh, she went with the Michael Peters dancers. The Michael Peters to Peters. Las Vegas. And uh, they opened the telethon in a dance routine with Sammy Davis Jr. Do you remember this? And we drove out that day. It was the same day as a plane crash in Cerritos. Why you got to bring that up? And also a riot at the Huntington Beach Pier. That all happened on the same day. we shouldn't have left that day. (laughs) Why is there a big riot here? Anyway, so... um, Summertime (laughs) and the candy is easy. (laughs) Chicka-gang-gang. Thank you. Thanks, Sammy. So we drove out to Vegas. Right. And it was at Caesar's Palace, I believe. Right. From Caesar's Palace. And we watched the first four hours of the telethon. Melissa came out and did a whole dance routine she with was these in the dancers. Opening. We and were Sammy. in the audience. We watched Jerry. It was fantastic. Then at like the four hour mark, they re- re- reprise or reprise? They reprised. I think reprise. Reprised. Yeah. They did it again, they did it that again. number, but this time Jerry came out, ah! and he danced with right, them, and it was really right. funny. But it was a thrill. It was one of those moments where- well, we went to a live taping, well, and well, our well, sister was on the but show. It was one of those moments where you hear that music for the Jerry Lewis telethon. It's kind of like when you and I went to see The Tonight Show the last month, well, we, and you hear that music, or when we were in Chicago and saw Wrigley Field with our own eyes. Or that's you, a title in town. <laughs> Yeah, what you're saying. I'm just is, saying there are certain things when you see them yeah. after growing up watching them on yeah. TV or hearing it on yeah. TV, it like makes it real we and it's kind of like unbelievable. We went to the Tonight Show, but you were just uh, talking about music and then you were just mentioning Wrigley You Field. will be my music. Go ahead. Okay. Where, where's, where's a good humor man? I'll, Two minutes. Well, can I hear him again? <laughs> you know, I really like this ice cream. <laughs> One time we drove cross country during the summer. To go to Annalise and Jim, family friends, shout out to them, to their wedding. It was me, Michael, and Jonathan, the three stooges. We drove cross country and we went to from LA directly to Wrigley Field. And then we, we saw a day game at Wrigley Field and a night game at Old Comiskey. Do you remember that? I do. It was the final the final uh, month of Comiskey. Do you remember that? I do. It was very exciting because uh, He's that, queuing up the music. That was folks. the old uh, that was the um, that was the oldest um, stadium stadium in in the major leagues up at to that, that point. time. That's right. Yeah. And then we and well, then we drove on to Niagara Falls. That's right. Slowly, and then, I turned, <laughs> and, and then, then we went to Cooperstown. to Cooperstown, the Baseball Hall of Fame. And I went mm. there again with Harrison's team. Mm. I was one of the coaches. We all went when he was twelve years old. Mm. A tournament in uh, it was so Cooperstown. exciting, so incredible. So baseball is part of the summertime. Of the summertime, 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 summertime some, 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 summertime. Okay, well, let's yeah. sum it up. Sum it up. Everyone have a seconds. wonderful summer. Wait, summer means a lot to us. Yeah, and it to you as well. It means a lot well. to everybody. I want you we to... all have to work in the summer, which yeah. kind of stinks. Yeah. But just remember that magic of the summer. If and you remember. <laughs> and if you... 
<laughs> Stay with it. Come on, buddy. I can't. You're Come making on. me laugh. Come on, buddy. All right. I'm just uh, just enjoy what summer you can with your family, with your friends. Have a great summer. Have a hot dog, a hamburger, a barbecue. Go to a ball game. Have some watermelon, ice cream, popsicles. Uh, good humor. <laughs> enjoy your th- what now s'mores. Those are very big. Have a great summer. You're and gonna if you end go- on s'mores. And if you go back to school, have a great uh, school year. Now, what's yes. our music? Where's the music? I got it Where's right here. Music? All right. Oh. Hey, have a great summer. Have a great summer, Beach Boys. Awesome and love.